Hey there, welcome to my channel. Okay, so today we are doing some nails. We're actually doing Christmas nails. Um, I'm going to do some plaid and some Grinch. So I have these press on nails prepped already. I'm just going to show you one, one nail. And um, do, do, do. so we're going to use in Nail Reserve and this is called Clouded. And it is like a beige, beigey white. So it's not white, but it's it's actually quite pretty. So I'm trying to do a thin, even coat. And I try and take off as much as I can and make it all even. And then that way it'll cure properly. So I'm going to put this in the lamp for 60 seconds and we'll be right back. Okay, so now for coat number two. Um, just a reminder, I know I say this all the time, but Nail Reserve polishes are 15 ml bottles. They are vegan, they're nine free, and they are cruelty free. And... Um, a majority of them smell really nice like candy like they have a sweet smell and this one is actually one of those that that smells really nice as well okay so I'm gonna pop these into the lamp for 60 seconds and then we'll get on with the design one sec okay stamping plate I'm going to use this is uber chic and it's pretty in plant and I'm thinking I might do this one because I've used that one or maybe I might use this one. Oh, damn. I, I'm like, okay, I'm going to use this one. And then I change my mind every time. Okay, we'll think on that. Uh, stamping polishes. We're going to go metallic this time. I, I haven't, um, I've used these ones, if, I don't think I've used these ones yet. So a metallic red and a metallic green, they're both sticky stamping polishes from She Modern. Um, and uh, yeah, I thought it would look kind of nice being in metallic. So, do, 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 do. Okay, we're going to go these ones, like, I'm just gonna pick, 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 pick. Okay, so um, this stamping plate is really good. Um, the left side, they're all layering stamps. So you look for the little arrow. So it has that and that, then it goes that and that. Uh, the right sides are ready-made plaid. So if you just wanna do one color, you could do that or, um, you can reverse stamp them kind of idea. I I wouldn't really. I'd probably just do that. And then you can do smaller designs and then make your own with the middle. So, but we're going to do these. I'm going to go with my original one. I really wanted this one originally. I don't know why. Maybe it'll work better. <laughs> so I'm going to take that off and that little bit it's all there so I get a little bit on the top that I just added and I have a little bit there I can add so probably oh the wrong color <laughs> maybe that because this lines a little bit so I just doubled it. And there, 
So that looks good. So now I'm going to go in with the green. So I get rid of that. Um, that. Now. I am. And there we go. There. It'll probably get easier. If I don't like it, I'll switch it out. But. So I'm just turning my cotton all over. To hold the plate. So sometimes there's days that I have problem stamping, even though, you know, I've been stamping for years. We all have those days. I just find it with the, the bigger nails when you're doing plaids. They, uh, they don't like them as much there. And I can flip that. Doo -doo -doo. And then now the green. smudgy there but on the and then kind of aim and then press down so I did get a little smudgy there I can probably see this little square. There. So I like it that it's not totally perfect it kind of gives it that um rustic kind of look so and i like the the color underneath it's um i'm gonna get a new cotton ball oh that's what i forgot to go get when i was at walmart today rats i need copper cotton balls i've i don't know i have a little a little tiny bucket that I put them in I get like a little tiny bucket it's actually happy holidays oh I paid a dollar apparently I don't know I can't remember where I got it from um but I put my cotton balls on my desk so they're easy access but that's all I have left <laughs> so forgot to get some today went to crappy tire which is Canadian tire we all call it crappy tire <laughs> so it gives I need a new headlight one of my headlights in my car is burnt out so I put in the make and the model of my car blah 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 it gives me the the number of the headlight I need so I go I took a photograph of it, like with my camera, just because, you know, in case somebody else wanted to use the machine, because I didn't want to keep going back to the, the machine. And I double checked the number like three times, got my husband to look at it. 
and yeah well, I was gonna wait at the counter and double check with that guy too but then I didn't because there was a guy waiting and I'm like Ugh. so you get it home and then it's really dark in the underground so we went took the car and drove to the visitors underground because it's an open one so we can change it so we take it out it's the wrong damn one I was so choked. I mean, I looked it up and everything, you know, and I'm like, Rrr. so that one's missing a bunch. So I'm just gonna fill that corner in with the excess. So there's three. I really like that. I know they're not perfect and they look kind of, but I kind of like it like that. So, so yeah, now I have to go back to crappy tire again. So, and I'm going to do these three, the little ones. Um, and then I'll do one more with you guys and then, um, then I'll go on to the next portion. I don't want to make this video too long. But yeah, so now I got I gotta go back to Crappy Tire, return that one, and it's fifty dollars for two of them. I'm like, Ugh. I couldn't believe they were like things are so expensive now. It's insane how much things are. I'm like, I I don't recall paying $50 the last time. I mean, it's been a, quite a few years that we've had to change them. So, I'm just oh, double checking if I need... Um, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been quite a few years since I've had to change the bulbs because I've had the car since it was new. I bought it new, 2010. But it's like, man, oh man, things are so freaking expensive now. Okay. So there we go. Okay, hang on one sec. Okay, so I have a bunch of these um, Grinch water duckles. I got them off of Etsy from this company. Uh, cup, well, few, well few years ago now and apparently she's not available on Etsy any longer unfortunately um now the they must be sealed or the ink will run so what I've done is it says before cutting decals um out apply a coat of clear polish directly onto the whole decal sheet make sure each de uh, decal is completely coated and allowed to dry Cut each one out as close as to the image as you can. Place in warm water for 20 to 30 seconds and separate. Now, what I did was, um, I did them all <laughs> already. I don't know if you can tell, but um, I pre-did them all because I figured it was just easier. I laid them out. I covered them with... Um, uh, well, this one's, what is it? Oh, here it is. Just the wet and wild uh, clear nail protector. Um, because I didn't do a um, top coat, be, uh, like a fast dry because it dries too quick. So I did a regular clear, like a normal clear coat. 
So anyway, sorry I can't recommend the company because they're gone. Um, but, you know, I'm sure there's other people on Etsy that probably have um, them as well. Or they're stamping. I do have a stamp, a couple stamping plates, which I will probably um, do stamping the next time because I'm sure I'll do... Um, Grinch nails again because they're so cute. So, so I'm gonna do. So I have four nails that um, I'm gonna do. I'm trying to. Okay, so I have to, a lot of her, so I don't want. Her, so I want Max. We'll do him. So I'm just going around cutting. It's not going to be totally perfect. So. So two. And then... I'm going to put his face. Actually, I'm going to do these two. So, oops. So I kind of go around. And, um, What I'll do is, um, oops, hang on, okay, so I do store them in a plastic bag, so um, it keeps them protected, and then I have them in my, um, um, my deco, um, I have a binder. Okay, so I've got water in this little water bottle I got eons ago from She Modern. And I just put a big old drop of water on each one. And then we'll let these sit for about a minute. And I'll be back. Hang on. Okay, so they're starting to come off now. So what I do is I take a stamper. Um, and then... I will pick them up with a stamper. I take off the backing and then I take a piece of paper towel and just stamp it. Now you can see that these are pretty see-through. Now um, if you're using a darker colored background I would totally cover these in white. I would get like white polish or um, white acrylic and then um, make them so it'll make them more opaque because my background is pretty light I should be able to see them no problem so I'm not going to bother doing that so they're going to be see look how dark they come out um, but like I said if you had like say you're doing like a dark green or black or whatever um then i would totally um make sure part of the deco came off i'll clean that off with some alcohol um but yeah so if you ever have ones that are not opaque enough, then totally um, cover them in white. And then that way they will, uh, you'll be able to see them. Okay, so now let's do Max next.
then I like doing I've been doing them picking them up some on the um stamper since she modern came out I started doing them because they um they're just so much easier and you can see where you're placing it and uh, there's no issues so so then I'm gonna I always brace and there we go and then little girl is that Cindy Lou Cindy Lou. I can't remember Cindy Lou Cindy Lou who okay and then I place her down and there that's a cute set I really like them and then I just grab this now this little palette I got from she modern back when she was doing um, when she used to have her foil decals and um, so I've had it that long you can use like a margarine lid or anything you can even do it on your palettes um, but I just like the little plastic one because then I can clean it up and wipe it off and it's good for the next time okay so one sec okay so what you can do is you can take your silicone tool you can make sure that these are totally um, flat you can use your stamper as well um, so I'm gonna base coat these and then I will top coat them because um, I just want to encapsulate them and then make sure that um, I won't have any lift off. And then the stamped ones, I will, I'll just base coat them all and then I'll top coat them all. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do the other hand and then I will come back for the final look. Um, but I'm loving these, I think they're so cute. Okay, so hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and here is the final look. Um, I had enough of different images so I could do one of each image, which I think um, I really like. Um, then this way it gives the person a variety of which ones they want to use. Um, but I love this look. I love the metallic on it and it looks really kind of rustic. I don't know I really like this set so yeah so there is my final look on my uh, Grinch plaid nails um, stay tuned I will have swatch photos coming up and then of course as per always I will have Daisy and Pippa okay um, I hope you guys are doing well and you are staying safe okay love you guys and remember be someone sparkle bye <laughs>